Yo, what's going on guys? This is Jeffrey De Los Santos coming to you once again with another jump rope video from JMD Jump Rope. And in this video, we're gonna go over a intermediate trick that everyone always asks me how to do. And I'm pretty sure you wanna do this trick as well. and wanna learn it as quick as possible. So I'm here to teach you guys how to do this trick and just get ready for it because it's gonna be a tough one, right? So the jump rope trick that I'm about to teach you guys is called the double under. And the double under is one of those tricks that, you know, you have to learn the foundational moves first before you get into this trick, all right? So the foundational moves are regular jumps, side swing, you know, just learning how to have the right form when jumping rope and establishing the basis of jumping rope, all right? So make sure you guys get that out of the way first. Spend some time learning how to fix your form, learning the basic tricks, and then let's jump into the double unders, all right? So double unders are not so much advanced tricks. They're more like an intermediate trick, but you know, in the beginning, it can be hard to learn them. It takes a lot of practice and it may take you a lot of time before you actually pull off this move. But, you know, like I said, with a lot of practice, you guys will be able to get it, all right? So first things first, we wanna learn this trick in two parts, right? So the first thing is learning the jump. And the second thing is learning the hand placement, all right? So first, let's learn the jump. So when you're doing the double under, you wanna have your feet really close to each other. They don't have to be like, like touching each other, but they have to be close, okay? And what you wanna do is, you wanna do like kind of like regular jumps like this, right? But higher, right? So you wanna jump at least six inches high above the ground so that you can get enough of a vertical to swing the rope twice under you, okay? So let's practice this jump, all right? And you just basically wanna do this for a little bit, all right? And depending how fast you're gonna, you're gonna do the double unders is how fast you're gonna jump, right? So you can do jump, you, you can actually jump this high and still do double unders, right? The thing is, it's about how fast you're swinging the rope, okay? So, but this is how high you kind of want to be when doing the double unders, all right? Now you obviously want to bend your knees when doing this. It may look like I'm actually not bending my knees and my, my, my uh, legs are locked, but they're not. They're actually bending slightly, okay? But what you don't want to do is raise your knees, all right? You don't want to raise them when you're doing the double under. You actually want to keep your legs straight. And also you don't want to bend at the waist. I see a lot of people doing this not how you do the double under it gives you more air time and it actually helps you get that second swing under but if your hand swings are down and you're doing them right then you should be able to have straight legs and a straight posture when doing the double under all right so that's the jump okay so let's get into the hand posture and how you should swing the rope okay so hand posture right when you're holding the rope you clearly want to hold it as you normally do, right? You want to grip the rope with all your fingers wrapped around and then the thumb pressing onto the rope, okay? And the next thing you want to do is ensure that your hands are placed right beside your waist, as close as you can get them beside your waist, right? And your hands are going to be placed a little lower than they're us they usually are when you're swinging the rope. Normally, when you're doing regular jumps, your, your arms are like kind of like right, right at the waist, right? And your elbows are kind of tucked in, right? But with the double unders, you still wanna kind of like bend your elbows, but not too much. You know, you wanna kind of bring your hands a little lower so that you can focus all your swinging power on, on your wrist, all right? Because all the swinging is gonna be done by your wrist, right? Your wrist is gonna be rotating and it's gonna be doing the swinging. Now, when you're rotating the rope with your wrist, keep in mind that on that second, you know, rotation, you have to snap your wrist, right? So it's like one snap, one snap. The reason why you're gonna do that on the second rotation is because you wanna ensure that the rope is coming around as quickly as possible right before you land on the floor, okay? So when you're practicing the double unders, what you wanna do is, you want to do them one at a time okay in the beginning it's one at a time and then as you start getting better and you start getting used to doing the double unders and you add 
two, and then you add three, and then you start increasing the amount of double unders that you do. So it's one, and then you just keep doing one, one, one. All right. So now that you guys learned how to do the double under, let's show you guys how it should look like. All right. So there you have it guys that's how you do the double unders and i hope this video helped you guys leave a comment and i'll be able to create maybe another video in the future just to give you more detail as to how to do it but that's how i learned how to do it and that's how i was able to get it down when i was learning how to do the double unders so if you do what i did i'm sure it'll work out for you too all right but thank you guys for watching i appreciate your support and i appreciate you guys viewing my videos if you have been in my channel before but if you haven't and this is the first time i thank you guys as well all right and i hope you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video but if you guys want to watch more of my videos then you can visit my channel and there's a lot more videos that you can see there on how to jump rope and i will be posting more videos in the future so stay tuned guys thank you have a good one